to run a project at this magnitude and to see you know the accomplishments of all of our team members building a 6300 foot viaduct is an impressive as itself uh, but to get here it depends on good leadership from the from the segments start with the project manager uh, to the construction managers the superintendents the foreman and most importantly our craft so uh, this is a, a big milestone for us and it's because of them that we're going to be successful and safe across the SR 198. I'm Dan Ladd. I'm the Segment 2 Manager for the Dragado Spot Iron Joint Venture. We call this structure the Hanford Viaduct. We're about a half a mile east of SR 43 and tonight we're setting the girders across State Route 198. I would say that the most intricate thing is the tolerance on the placement of the girders is only about a quarter of an inch and as you can see uh, they're, they have to be positioned partially manually and there's a lot of communication between uh, the guys on the false work, the guys on the ground, and then the, the gentleman actually operating the crane. Um, so getting them exactly where they belong over and over again. We have about 40 of our own uh, employees out here tonight and I think there's about 10 in our facility where we make the girders. In addition to that, we've got a half a dozen subcontractors uh, hauling, running the crane, uh, providing traffic control. Uh, multiple agencies we were permitted with the high-speed rail, with Caltrans, with the County of Kings, uh, with California Highway Patrol, who's also here participating in the traffic control. Uh, all in, there's about 100 people, and there's been about a year of coordination and meetings and planning taking place to lead up to this event. We're uh, about 75 to 80 percent complete on this bridge. Um, you know, on top of the girders, there's some uh, stay-in-place decking that goes on, and then permanent deck that has to be cast in. Uh, we haven't started any of the barrier walls up on top. Um, we still have eight foundations to, to start near the railroad that we cross uh, just about a quarter of a mile from here. So we do have quite a bit of work left. I'm immensely proud of my team. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, narrow it down very well. I would say the growth and the commitment are, are probably the two biggest things. We've got people literally from all over the world working on this project um, and a huge number of people who are in the highest role they've ever been in, and to see them grow and develop into their into their positions and the, the relentless commitment to getting this done is is really makes me you know extremely proud.